the Bible say there's a way that seem right to a man but the end thereof is the way of death the Bible say many are called but few are chosen <clears throat> my message today is to get around masses following the masses but not following the message of God following the masses but not following the message of God and God's message is holy God's message is strict and straight God's message is unique God's message is not compromise. Amen. And a lot of you all, y'all follow the masses, but not following the message of God's holy word. See, that drove me back to the tension of St. John, the sixth chapter. And when Jesus Christ said, you follow me because you will feel. You're not following me because of the miracle that you saw. Then when Jesus was preaching about drinking the blood and eating his flesh, they start complaining. They start murmuring. Then Jesus Christ said, does this bother you? Amen. Does this offend you? See, a lot of people follow the masses because the masses might be growing, but the masses is not holy. The masses might, glory to God, have millions of people, but they're not millions according to repentance. Amen. Glory to God. My friend, and you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about seven Adventists. I'm talking about Jehovah's Witness. I'm talking about Mormons. I'm talking about Kojic. I'm talking about Pentecostal, Apostolic, Baptist. Hallelujah, glory to God. But in me, my main message is, I'm talking about the Seventh-day Adventist church. They are following the masses, but they're not following the message of Jesus. They're following the message of Ellen G. White. They follow the message, glory to God, saying she's a, she's a spirit of prophecy. I stop by to tell somebody, you are following the masses, but you're not following the message. Because when you follow the message, you repent. When you follow the message, you return back to God. When you, hallelujah, glory to God, when you follow the message of God, you, be a, you live a resurrected life. Because the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things are passed away. All things become new. So there are people following the masses. Yes, you follow. It's like it's like you follow the master. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But you're not following the method of the scripture. Hey, glory to God. I'm saying love the Lord that God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, your body. Every being belong to God. So you follow the master. Hallelujah. But you're not saying, like, like people follow the Pope. There's no hope in the Pope. Hope is in Jesus. He's your blessed hope. Amen. And a lot of you all, glory to God, y'all not following the message. Y'all following the masses of people, hey, glory to God, that's singing and not, hallelujah, not departing from their sin. You're, 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 you're singing on a matchup with the scripture. You're singing on a matchup with the lifestyle you live in according to God's standard. You don't sing to entertain a worldly throne. We sing to glorify God's throne. We sing because we are happy. We sing because we are free. Hallelujah. But a lot of y'all, y'all sing because you want riches. Y'all sing because you want popularity. Y'all sing because you want to be a celebrity. But I sing because I want to glorify God. 
I sing because I want to pleasing to God. I'm pleasing to a man that gave me a contract for millions of dollars. And when I die, I go straight to hell. Why? Because you were chasing the dollar rather than chasing the liver up. A glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 There's somebody out there, my friend. You are following the masses. A crowd. Hey Amen. The Bible said the blind lead the blind and both fall into the ditch. I'm following Christ. I'm not following the crowd. Hey Amen. Because the Bible say there's a way that's there's a way that seems right. Now, when 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 Solomon say there's a way to see right. Now Solomon, and the reason why I'm listening to Solomon, because Solomon was a rich man. Solomon was a wise man. But Solomon let those women turn his heart away from his God. And Solomon died at a young age. So what you saying, preacher? I'm saying people that are following the masses. You are following the crowd. And the Bible talk about broad is the way. And many there be that find it. And strict is the way. And few there be that find it. So I'm asking the question, my friend. Are you following the masses? Yes, are you following? It's like people following Christmas. Christmas is not about Christ. Christmas, hallelujah, is about merchandising. Christmas is about you going on depression. Hey, glory to God. Why? Because Santa Claus didn't come to your house. <laughs> hey, glory to God. Amen. Santa Claus didn't come to your chimney. Amen. That's why I tell people, even Easter, Easter is not about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Easter is about an Easter bunny. Easter is about chasing eggs. Easter is about getting a nice dress, not nice money suit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Kids get baskets. Hallelujah. Are you following the masses? Or are you following the message of the scripture? Because the Bible says there are going to be a many fall away. Giving ears to sounding doctrine and doctrine of devil. Look, look at the way people are right now. They are stopped going to church. They are they following Christ. They are following some consciousness. They are arguing it's not the same Jesus. Hallelujah. It's not the same God of the Old Testament. So they closed the church door and now they are following consciousness. I stop by to tell somebody, don't follow the mass. Amen. And I, yes, I'm talking talk about the Catholic too. Because some of y'all are Catholics. Some of y'all still worship Mary. I thank God for Mary. God used Mary to bring forth Jesus. Hey, glory to God. But Mary is not the mother of God now. Amen. Mary got to have to go to the upper room just like the rest of the disciples. Mary had to pray. Mary had to seek the Holy Ghost. There ain't no power in Mary. Put down the rosary. Hail Jesus. Hail Jesus. No, no, hail Mary. There ain't no power in Mary. There's power in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> the Bible said, what do you do in word or do in tongue? Do all in the name of Jesus. They follow in the masses. But they're not following the scripture. They're not following it. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. St. John 4, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. The Bible said, Jesus Christ said, I am the door to the sheepfold. If any man come any other way, you are a thief and you are a robber. It's a shame. What I say? It is a shame, 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 shame. Hey, man, you fall in the masses. You fall in seven-day Adventist doctrines. You follow a false prophetess. What say? You are following a false prophecy. Helen G. White is not a spirit of prophecy. Helen G. White pergolized a lot of writings. Helen, Helen G. White didn't believe in Jesus. She said Adam was the seed first rather than Eve. But they are following the masses the multitude, the millions of people, hey, glory to God, following Helen G. White. They got so bad now, they got a, they got an estate in, in uh, 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 
in Silver Spring, Maryland. They got a house of Helen G. White. They got a mansion of Helen G. White. And they come there and they give homage to Helen G. White. Helen G. White was human. Helen G. White was no supernatural. Helen G. White ain't no God. Helen G. White, my friend, and glory to God, if Helen G. White ain't, ain't, ain't repent of her sins and, and put down masonry, she going to hell. But they are following the masses. Amen. They following the crowd. They following because the, 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 the religion grows so fast. Like Jim Jones. Jim Jones poisoned people with some Kool-Aid. Hallelujah, glory. Uh, heaven, heaven, heaven gate, apple white, poisoning people and waiting on a UFO. People worship at Daddy Grace, Daddy McCullough. Hallelujah, glory to God. Oh, Daddy. Wake up, people. There's only one God. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. There's only one, one way to God. Forget what Steve Harvey is saying. See, Steve Harvey is not a man of faith. He's a man of confusion. Because there's only one way. The Bible say in, in Acts 4.12, Neither is salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must, M-U-S-T, save. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. There's only one way to God. And if you come in another way, you are a thief and you're a robber. They are following the masses. Hey Amen. What I'm saying? They are following the masses and they become confused. They become disconnected. Because Jesus Christ said, if if you if a man don't if man don't abide in me, he's cast out of the branch and cast into the fire. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They following the wrong message. They fall in the wrong God. They fall in the wrong Bible. Hey Amen. That's why they got so many different Bibles. You know why? Because they take on certain words. Singers, can we talk? Singers, singers does not have pastors. <clears throat> so when a pass, when a singer become a celebrity, do not have a pastor, and they're singing to get silver and gold. They're singing to entertain a worldly throne. They're singing for popularity. They're singing for fame. They're singing to make a merchandise of you, Christians. Amen. Your lifestyle ought to match what you sing. Your lifestyle ought to match what you preach. You ain't get no money out of me. And you live like a pimp. You live like a prostitute. You are hustling the saints. And we don't have the spirit of discernment. We know that this person is a false singer, a false pastor, a false teacher, a false prophet. Accord to God. Hallelujah. They're following the masses. But I'm following the message of God. Wake up, church. Satan knew that the hourglass is almost empty on him. And he gets as many folks to be deceived, to be duped, to be charmed, to be fondled. Hallelujah, the ponds is in Hey man, why preacher? Because they're following the masses. They follow the multitude of people and they're following the word of God. And if you know, if you know in St. John the sixth chapter, when all the people Verse 66, it's, it's the saddest verse in the Bible. The Bible says, many of the disciples walk no more with Jesus. There was a masses. And it become just a few. And Jesus Christ told, told the disciples, will you go also? And Peter said, where shall we go? You have the word of eternal life. And we believe that thou art the savior of the world. But Jesus Christ said, one of y'all is the devil. And they're talking about Judas Iscariot. Hallelujah. Have I chosen you 12 and one of you is the devil? Amen. 
Who are you following? Be honest. Hallelujah. On on the comment comments section, who are you following? Are you following Satan or are you following the Savior of the world, which is not silver and gold, but Jesus Christ? Amen. Glory to God. I know my I know my channel is not popular. That's all right, my friend, because it's not about popularity. It's about people want to come to Christ. I'm not preaching for cash. I'm not preaching for clicks. I'm not preaching for you to like me. I'm preaching because I want you to come to Christ. That's why I preach. Hey, man, I've been preaching, my friend, Hallelujah, not to entertain a worldly throne. Hallelujah. I don't, I'm, I'm not preaching for you to like me. I'm preaching for you to come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Come as you are. But don't stay as you are. The homosexual can come. The lesbian can come. The transgender can come. The murderer can come. The hater of one another can come. The backbiters can come. The drunks can come. But you don't stay the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. If any man be in Christ, I'm not saying come to church. Say come to Christ. We made a mistake by telling people come to church. No, come to Christ. Glory to come to Christ, my friend. You will never be the same. Uh, oh, glory to God. Well, I say when you come to Christ, you are never, never be the same. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But when you come to church, you go back to become a, become a drunk. You go back to be a homosexual. You go back to be a lesbian. You go, you go back to be a, a fornicator. You go back to be a, a pedophile. You go back, my friend, hallelujah, polygamy. You go back, hallelujah, be a pimp, be a prostitute. But when you meet Christ, like Rahab, Rahab met Christ, he met God. And the Bible says she hid those spies. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. And she was named, hallelujah, in the hall of faith. Masses. They follow the masses, but they're not following the message of God. Because when you follow the message of God, you be like Nicodemus that come to Jesus Christ by night. Oh, glory to God. If you are father in Christ, you be, hallelujah, glory to God. You be that man, that rich man, hey, glory to God, that gave the tomb, hallelujah, glory to God. Just like what, what laid in a brand new tomb. Hallelujah, glory to God. When you met Christ, you be like a man that was a, the, the, hallelujah, the, 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 the place of beautiful gate. When Peter says, silver and gold have I none. But since I have, I give unto thee. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And the Bible says, he rose up and walk. Hallelujah. And Peter, that get them straight, say, no, listen, this is not a power. This is not nothing to do with me. But the same Jesus I killed. Ha <laughs> ha, glory to God. There's no power of me. Hallelujah. But it's the Christ that living in me that make this man walk. When you follow Christ, hallelujah, you put on voodoo. You put on hoodoo, and you know what to do. <laughs> when you follow Christ, you get on a witchcraft and pick up the word of God. Ask Simon, Simon, Simon was a witch. In Acts, the, in Acts the, fourth cha the eighth chapter, the Bible says, he bewitched the people of Samaritan, the small to great, my friend. But when Philip preached, he believed. Somebody right now, you need to believe the gospel. You need to stop following the masses. Stop, don't follow me, follow Christ. Paul say, don't follow me, follow Christ. Hop, hop, glory to God, my father. There's a problem we have in Christendom. Y'all following the mass, y'all following the preacher rather than, than, than following the potentate. Hallelujah, follow the preacher of your sin. And his name is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, bro. I'm sorry to be long, but I had to, had to, had to say it because a lot of people are following seven Adventists. A lot of people are following the masses, but they're not following the message of holiness. It's not following the, it's not following the Sabbath day because Jesus Christ is the Sabbath. He said, come unto me, oh, he that heavy laden, and I will give rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He said, casting all your cares upon him. Hallelujah. Because he cared for you. 
follow Christ. So follow the masses. Because the masses going to put you in the lake of fire. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Multitude, multitude going to hell. And the reason why they're going to hell because they have a form of God, but they're denying the power they are. The Bible says, for such turn away. You have a form. Hallelujah. You have an Shanda, but don't have the real Holy Spirit. You have a dance, but you're not delivered. You have a song, but you're not singing for Jesus. You're singing to entertain people, rather entertaining the, the uh, holy, holy God. I'm sorry to be so long. But who are you following? Are you following your pastor? Are you following your first lady? Are you following a co-pastor? Are you following a prophet? Who are you following? Hallelujah, you ought to be following Christ. You ought to be following a reverend. You ain't no, you ain't no reverend. We ought to reverend God. Hallelujah. When I say reverence God, because God, hallelujah, sent his beloved son Jesus to die on the cross. Your pastor didn't die for you. Your first lady didn't die for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why I got out of church. You know why I got out of church? Because I put too much emphasis on the pastor. Worshiping a pastor, you carry a briefcase, you give them all these things, my friend. You worship the pastor. No, you'll be worshiping God in the pastor. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God told the church of Laodicea, you either hot or cold, but lukewarm, I'm going to spit you, I'm going to vomit you out. You make me sick. Y'all, church folks, make God sick. Because y'all worshiping your pastor rather than worshiping the parishioner of your sin, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Lukewarm saints. Strive to fend saints. You got the audacity to come to church in leggings. Got the audacity to come to church with a shorty short dress. Sit up front. Close your leg. Go back home and put proper a tear on. Amen. Come on. Come on, church. Amen. Who are you following? Are you following Christ? Or are you following your pastor? I give homage to God. I don't give a homage to a pastor. Simon, uh, 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 Peter told, told Cornelius, don't, don't bother me. I'm like a man just like you are. Get up, man. Huh, hallelujah. Don't, don't worship me. Don't bother me. I'm, a, I'm just a man. God told me, don't call no man comma or unclean. So don't bow to me. <laughs> Glory to God. And that's, and that's the attitude we ought to have with people. Don't worship me. Worship God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of God. This person, oh God, I have listened to this message. Let them know that it's not just any kind of message. This is a message of inventory. This is a message of examine yourself. This is a message to tell you who are you worshiping. Are you worshiping the masses? Or are you worshiping the message of Jesus Christ? Bless this person right now. Well, after they hear this message, let them do an inventory in their life. And just now I pray, oh God.